Welcome to episode five in the DogBot series. This is a continuation of episode four, and we'll, we're still working on this concept of a, a touch sensor. And so what I've done is I've just wired up two more servos the same way that we wired the first one. And so now we have servo one in pin five, servo two in pin six, and servo three in pin seven. And we still have the feedback mechanism, the, the touch sensor, we still have that in pin two. So the next step is to incorporate the next two servos that we just added into the firmware. So let's, let's head over to the computer. Okay, so this is the example that we used on the last episode. So we're just going to save it as example five now for episode five. And we're going to change S1, the server that we're considering to be servo one to number five. And we'll have two more servos. 6, 7, pin 6 and 7. We're calling them servos 2 and 3. And we need to declare them. Servo 2 and servo 3. They're all output. And now let's, let's incorporate them. Um, Let's go trial by error for now. But just to keep it readable, let's say int uh, int delay. Int delay servo and let's pass it a float angle. And the reason we're writing this function right now is just for readability. So in this function, we're going to use a delay microseconds, but we're going to pass an angle. So if this is position zero, um, we're going to need a calculator for this. So if, if this is position 0, if, if 600 degrees is position 0, and 2,500 degrees is position 180, 2,500 microseconds is position 180 degrees, if that's the case, then to figure out what this equation should be from angle to delay, why don't we take 2,500 microseconds minus 600 microseconds. So we have 1,900 microseconds. And now let's just divide that by 180 degrees. OK. 10.5. So we're just going to do plus uh, plus angle times 10.5. Now this is going to make it much more readable. And just to take it a step further, why don't we also pass the servo? And let's make it high and low all in the same function. So make servo high and servo low. So now, we can replace this complex set of lines 
with just delay servo S1 zero degrees. And it makes it much more readable when we start saying delay servo 2 zero degrees, delay servo 3 zero degrees. And here, when we say delay servo 180 degrees, so on and so forth. Now, if I actually ran this, let's see, it should compile. Okay, but if I actually ran this, it's going to be telling all servos to go from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. And that's a pretty, that's a pretty risky thing to just go off and do. So I'm going to take this one step at a time. I'm going to comment out servos 1 and 2 and just have servo 3 go for now. This compiles. And let's make sure we're uploading to the right board. And let's upload. It's blinking. That's a good sign. OK. Now this time I shouldn't have to touch it. And I'm going to keep my hand on the, the switch in case something weird happens. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? It's working. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm now using a backup power supply because uh, my power supply failed, but this one's working. So we now have just what we're calling servo three. We have it going from zero to 180 degrees with an interrupt for the, the touch sensor. So it's very similar to the setup we had last time. But I want to um, I want to play with just this one servo a little bit more. I don't think we should have it go from 0 to 180 degrees. I think we should be a little bit more specific. So let me turn this off for now. All right, let's go back over to the computer. We no longer need the loop because we know it works. There we go. And let's be a little bit more specific. Let's say, let's say 90 degrees and upload that. Okay, let's turn her on. Interesting. So 90 degrees is, is too far. Let's go, let's go 170 or 150. Go 150. Okay, that's not far enough. Let's go 120. What we're doing is honing in, just playing around, playing with numbers and honing in an angle that's just fun. There we go. So this is 120 degrees for this servo. Now let's turn on servo number one, and let's see what 90 degrees looks like for servo, for servo number one. Servo number one, 90 degrees should be the middle point. 
So let's just leave it at, at 90 degrees for now. Let's see how that worked. There we go. Hotness. Wow. That's pretty cool. Now let's vary 90 degrees. Let's vary servo number one from 90 degrees to say, let's go with 120. And see when it's, when the firmware is being burnt, the power is taken away from the servos. Now that's a dangerous, <laughs> that's a dangerous loop. Uh, let's try the other way around. Let's go from 90 to 120 degrees. Pulled a wire. Pulled a wire. Whew. Let's try again. Check that out. 